dirt. I just uh, stopped the recording. Oh well, that was an introduction video. Welcome to part one of Let's Play the Stanley Parable. Uh, look at those clocks. Those clocks actually keep real time. And it's downright amazing. I better stop pressing the one key because the, the one key is what makes um, the Fraps video stop. And get out of my way, door. He didn't say anything. Hmm. Anything over here? Anything over here? Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Hmm, nothing. Okay. Uh, so this is a choose-your-own ending game. I think there's at least eight endings, and I'm going to try to find them all. What the hell? Huh? Are you seeing this? What happened? Uh, whoa. Uh, I just... Is the game broken? Well, this is bizarre. I'm gonna go back in here. Something's just not right here, folks. Um... Aha. Something just popped in my uh, microphone, and it really hurt my ear. I hope that got on the video. Uh, maybe... Well, I don't know what happened. I'm gonna skip this, because it looks like the map failed to load. I've never, I've never had that happen yet. Of his co-workers there it gone. goes. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, shut up! Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office. It's but free it didn't country. Make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Have you ever touched everything before? Stop nagging me. Ugh. Uh, time reset. There we go. I don't know what happened last time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Do I? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like following directions. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes, because it's such a great room. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Oh yeah. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yes, I am. It tastes great. Right clock? Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. You betcha. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Yep, really I don't, worth it. Yep, I don't give a shit. Their, their problem, their fault, not mine. I'm just enjoying the room. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. You're a creepy. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Pretty much. I didn't tell you the details earlier. I just let you decide on your own. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But yep. when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Go ahead. But at last, Fine. he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Nope. 
damn, it was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I've never had a job, and I love not following directions. Look, Stanny, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I know you're I not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about... What? Really? I was Sorry. in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Yep. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Well, do it. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now, listen carefully. This is important. <sighs> Stanley walked through the red door. God, I hate this part. It's so confusing. But my favorite color is blue. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. My favorite color is blue. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. The red door. Door. I still want to go to the blue door, though. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to know so badly what's out there. You want to find out what lies at the end of this road. You yeah, 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 yeah. Well, don't let me stop you. You see, there's nothing here. Yeah, there is. I haven't even finished building this section of the map of because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Mm -hmm, Was it worth mm -hmm, ruining mm -hmm. the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yep. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because yep. I did. And yep. in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. That's something, Help at me, least. Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? Those what are big words. See? Vehicles? What's that down there? Skill trees? See that? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. I'll tell you what. Let me That's take a far the away. Dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. It does? Ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Just placed a door over there. That's it. Well, I guess I'll just go through here. Okay. What the hell? I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Mm. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. No, you're Where not. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Mm. Well, it's instinct mostly. According no, it's to not. Your gut. It's, I really it's couldn't say where feedback. the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. I felt it in you my can't soul. Teach that, Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Okay. Then why do you send me back here? Why are there exposed ceiling tiles right there? Weird. Now, yeah. would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. <sniffs> hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Yes. Let me boot it up. It sucks. It sucks. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. Oh my god. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the Babes fire, fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes Aww, clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Okay. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, button. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. You heartless bastard. Yes, Did I you am. Do it because you hate babies, or purely to spite me? Because if you. it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. Don't I'm try. Out. I'm out. I'm done. Good. It's over. Thank you for playing. You're Your welcome. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. <laughs>
Let's see. What do we have here? Mm. Toho? That'd be nice. Mm -mm. Yes. It's not your game. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Hi. Well, Stanley, is this any better? Yeah, At last, kind of. One thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Maybe. Well, I've I'll never played this. Minecraft. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Okay. <laughs> mm, this will go here. No, here. And then... <laughs> Let's see, what does it need? I Oh my yes, gosh, this course. game. And just to finish it it's all. Awesome. Yes. It's complete. I made this standing. Look nice. At it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. I can make better. Uh, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please step inside and make yourself comfortable. Minecraft sounds. I'm going to end this part right here and continue on next one.